Hey there, fellas. This is going to be an interesting one. We are currently at the test track, and in this episode we're going to be conducting a fun experiment. Check out what I got here. Very nice. That's some mineral water that we put in there to cool, and underneath that is some dry ice, which we used in a recent video. That's carbon dioxide, and when it evaporates, it expands like crazy. Like literally almost 800-fold. Meaning we can generate excess pressure. Over here we've got a car, from which we've removed the wheel for a bit of prep. We've unseated one side so that we could add some dry ice, pour in some water. It's gonna start to evaporate and expand. Pressure will begin to build up. And at some point, the wheel is going to explode. Now, can you keep the car under control and uh, make it go where you're pointing it, like... Say, here you are driving down the road. You need to make a lane change. Here you are doing that and a tire explodes all of a sudden. Will you be able to complete your maneuver? That's the question. I guess we're about to find out. Okay, let's pour it in and get going. Dry ice and water into a tire 800 times over inflation. Translation and voiceover by BMI Russian. Right, guys, for starters, we've decided to try and see what happens when one of the rear tires explodes. It's already on there, we've added the dry ice. Now we just need to add some water. That'll trigger the process of gas release, that'll seat the tire, and we'd better immediately get going. Okay, let's head out. I've decided to wear a helmet this time. And not because something horrible can happen. It's just that there's probably going to be a lot of pressure. And I wouldn't want the bang to hurt my ears. So I'm gonna put this on. Shall we begin? Yeah, go right ahead. And we are off to a gentle start. Yeah, very gentle indeed. Yeah, very gentle indeed. Like I was saying, that was a loud-ass bang. Why so early, though? Yeah, I think we might have outdone ourselves. Oh, my. The car itself hasn't sustained any damage, but the tire exploded almost immediately. We do need to pick up some speed, though. Bugger it, let's do it again. So look, we've removed the wheel, and just look at how it got torn apart. Yeah, it was ripped apart, take a look at that. That's like a 50 centimeter tear. I wasn't able to get up to speed, so let's try that again. What, you didn't hear it explode? Alright, so they're filling up another tire. Let me just get the car started. Here we go. I'm able to get up to speed, that's nice. Let me flip around and it is rattling like crazy. I can literally feel the excess pressure in that tire. It's jumping around. And here's the situation. As you can see, the wheel is taking a piss. The reason being that this time... 
we didn't put enough in. We put much less in compared to last time, to avoid it bursting right away. But I drove around and nothing really happened. And so we've undone everything, and we'll be filling it up once more, and going out again. Let's do this. Pit stop. Run away. Over here before it blows. Ah! Holy cow! Holy cow! What can I even say? That was one hell of a bang. Good thing we had the window closed. That made it easier on the ears. Now I've been in a situation where my rear wheel exploded. You get a slight jolt, and it's crucial to not make any abrupt steering inputs. Anyway, you get a jolt, but then the car just sort of stabilizes and goes straight. Why can't I get up to a good speed on these tires? Holy cow! Isn't that something? So here's what's up. At this point you can tell that the tire is burst wide open. It is gonzo. I was only able to get up to 40 k's. And there you go. That didn't result in anything catastrophic. And so now let's see what happens when a front tire explodes. All right, so the wheel is almost ready. And we'd better keep that wrench in there until we fit the wheel to the car. Otherwise it'll seat itself and a rapid pressure buildup will ensue. All right, I've got the car running. Just in case it refuses to, this is a lot after all. The wheel is in place, we're looking good. Now we add some water and off we go. Yep, there's the reaction. Oh, wow, is it shaking! Because of that water. Though I've heard water improves the balance. Not true. Apparently that's not how it works. Holy cow! That ringing in my ears, man! But that went well. This tire was fighting till the very end. Well, what can I tell you? It's not a pleasant sensation. Again, there was a ton of excess pressure in there, and so the bang was much more... potent. And what do we see here? The metal cord is snapped, and the whole tire has been ripped to pieces. Now there is one thing I'd like to point out. You'd expect something like this happening at the front end to be very dangerous. That the car would be very unsettled, because you steer the car with the front wheels. 
But you saw what actually happened. I didn't have that tight of a grip on the wheel. I thought it'd have a mind of its own, that something nasty would happen. But in reality, I just got a slight jolt. The car was a bit unsettled, but I was able to get it right back on track. But my main mistake was when I hit the brakes. After the explosion, I realized that I was still in control. Well, I mean, the car wasn't overly easy to control, but it was definitely nothing to panic over. But as soon as I got on the brakes, and I hit them hard to come to a stop ASAP, yeah, if I'm being totally honest, that was a bit of a mistake on my part. Because you have one wheel, but you don't have the other, you hit the brakes and the car becomes a handful. That's when it really gets a mind of its own. It becomes pretty unpredictable. So yeah, you'd uh, best avoid doing that. Okay, now we've decided to try something different. Safe to say that I know what I'm doing, but let's allow one of the youngins behind the wheel. We just want to see how the others are going to react. Because, I mean, I'd imagine they wouldn't be the same. We'll be filling the left wheel this time. We have a bit of ice left. It's probably going to be enough uh, to be able to fill this wheel and for it to explode. Okay, load it up, install it, and off we go. Here we go. Start the car. Yeah, yeah, start it. That'll do. I can't see a thing. Yeah, you can set it down. And go! That's it. <laughs> and what do you know? Oh, the plastic shielding was missing? What do you say, Sergey? Did it rip the wheel from your hands? Actually, no. Oh, no. Yeah, it just tracked straight. The car stayed right on course. And if you have a look at the tire, it's sort of even intact. Looks torn apart to me. Yeah, but not to flower petals. What the hell? Nah, dude, it burst wide open. The rupture is down here, as you can see. Just like with the first one. Holy cow! There's a quick way to remove a lot of fender. No need to drill or do any other fiddly work. Boom and you're done. So you just get a sort of bump on the wheel and then it just stays in the same position. You can still handle it in case of a blown front tire. In the back though... Honestly, the car felt more unsettled when the rear wheel exploded. Weird, huh? So in case of such an event, don't panic and don't do any hard braking. Just try to maintain control of the car. Granted, it's not always going to be possible, like if, say, you're taking a turn. Yeah, that might create some difficulties. 
The important thing is not to panic and not to stab the brake pedal, because that is a surefire way to lose control of the car. So make sure to tense up, get a good grip on the wheel, and make sure your movements are smooth. If the car is veering off course, gently reel it back in, and no hard braking. Well, that's my opinion anyway. I don't know what the professional instructor is going to say. Should you brake hard? No. Avoid at all costs? Yeah, and if you're a weakling, you lift your elbows up and you hold on. That'll help you control the wheel. Got it? If you're a bit weak, you lift your elbows and get a good hold of the wheel. Make sure you have a good grip on it and not lose control of the vehicle. But honestly, that was a whole lot of fun. Because, I mean, the tires were exploding due to all of that excess pressure. It's hard for me to imagine the exact pressure, but those were some mighty bangs. And you saw it all for yourselves. Yeah, you definitely have to monitor the condition of your tires. And that's all I got for you. Watch us, subscribe, send in your suggestions. We actually, yeah, there's a lot of dry eyes left. What do you think we should do with it? Comment, give us a big thumbs up. Alright, catch you later.